Hello everyone and welcome to the Stock Martin channel. I have an awesome video for you today. We are going to be talking about Mullen Automotive. We're going to be also talking about this stock, ticker symbol M-U-L-N, as it has had some rough few days. We are going to be talking about the potential of this stock going even further down. We are also going to be talking about this company. Does it just have a lot of smoke and mirrors or is this a good company to get into for the long term? Is there some good upside potential? We're going to be talking about this and examining this. I think you're going to get a lot out of this video. Before we get down into it and get started, give me that big thumbs up to keep me alive on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit all to get my latest uploaded videos. Don't forget to share this page with others so we can continue to grow the channel. I'd greatly appreciate that. And also, don't forget to get your free stocks using my links down below to Moomoo and Weeble. You can get some amazing free stocks. Stay to the end of this video for details detailed information on how. Now, without further ado, I did want to talk to you about Mullen Automotive. Just most recently from Benzenga, the CEO did do an interview, which was about 32 minutes long, and I do have that fully recorded so you can watch it on your own. I'll leave it down posted in the description below. Now, that being said, in the interview, there were several things that are now being investigated by some of the law firms uh, that do think that Mullen, the CEO, did misrepresent and did mislead some investors. Now, again, this investigation is only through the law firms. However, I did just want to show you this very big article from Investor Place. That title is Mullen Automotive is more likely to see a downside than a short squeeze. At best, the MULN stock is a speculative bet until the company establishes credibility. So the big thing right now is the credibility of this company. Uh, we have just seen that interview with the CEO, with Benzanga, and they did say some very big important things. Number one, they did mention that they are working on a solid state battery pack that can go 600 miles on a single charge. Now, if this is true, if they can make a solid state battery, that would be the longest range battery out of any battery in the electric market. Now, we do know that there's several companies such as QuantumScape. We also know Toyota. Some very big companies are working on a solid state battery. Nissan is actually one of the closest ones to coming close to making that vehicle with that solid state battery pack, but this is costing billions and billions of dollars. A lot is research time and development. Now here comes along Mullen Automotive saying that they have this and they have tested it in the lab. Now, it is worth noting that according to this article from Insider Place, the Hindenburg does report um, that it has been a right on things like Nicola and Lordstown, where we did get some scamming and some FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And these companies actually did cause a lot of stock investors to lose a lot of money. So with this Hindenburg report coming out, that says that Mullen Automotive is actually not making that battery. They actually claimed that Mullen Automotive is taking credibility uh, from a Chinese-based company that did work on this, that worked with Mullen for about a year, but is no longer working with the company, and that since then, this Chinese company has gone out of business. Again, these things have not been verified, and again, we have seen a lot of lawyers are starting to pile in and starting to investigate Mullen Automotive to see if they have misled investors. So again, none of this can be proven either way. I am just showing you the news and the potential that there could be some cover up, there could be some smoke and mirrors, but a lot of times if we do see smoke, we do need to watch out for any fires. So we right now are at a speculative stage in this company and we do need to see some credibility from this company moving forward. Now, some of the other claims that the Hindenburg Research article did talk about is still going back to that solid state battery. Uh, Mullen Automotive says that it can charge 300 miles in just 18 minutes. Again, that would be an all-time leader. This would beat out right now the current leader, which is the Lucid Air Dream Edition, which can go 520 miles on a single charge. It can charge up its battery to 300 miles in 22, 21 minutes. So this would actually be a lot quicker with Mullen Automotive's technology if it proves to be true. Right now, this stock is going at its low of $2.40. It is a micro penny stock. It is only worth less than $100 million. So 
I'll leave it up to you to decide and to see where the research points to. But again, we are seeing some investigation articles, uh, especially some law groups uh, that are doing some investigations. And you can see them here. Um, for example, from Business Wire, you all are seeing that there is some law firms that are doing some investigations uh, to see if their battery and their technology, if their automotive is ensure accurate. Um, again, this will be very critical. But we do need to put that in the back of our minds if we are investing in this company. Is this a credible company? If it is, I do think that this stock can go up and it can go up quite a bit uh, once they start getting their production vehicles going. According to that interview from Benzinga, the CEO did mention that they are working on their Milan 5. Uh, that will be their SUV to compete with the Tesla Model Y. It's going to have over 300 miles, 0 to 63.2 seconds. Uh, but they said that this vehicle will not be sold and not out into the market until the year 2024. So, up until that date, we do not have any concrete information except one very big one. So the CEO did make a report that they will be making a delivery van purchase, uh, order purchase that they received from a Fortune 500 company that will be announced in the next few weeks. And if this is true and Mullen does have electric delivery vans and it delivers these pre-orders to a Fortune 500 company, this stock will shoot up and it will shoot up quite nicely in my opinion. And by that, I did just want to show you its stock to see how high this stock could go is it has huge upside potential. Um, going back six months, uh, this stock actually in November was trading around $13. It tested it on three separate occasions. I do think that we could go back to those times for sure from these prices right now. That is a big if if they can deliver electric delivery van to a Fortune 500 company that was not named um, in the uh, in the interview with Benzinga. So that is still one of the big credibilities problems that this company is having. I do think that once we get past this, once we see if this is a true legit company, once we see that they can produce an electric delivery van, once we see that they actually have a pre-order from a Fortune 500 company, this stock is going to skyrocket. But until then, I would advise you to use caution uh, as there could be some more downward pressure on the stock right now as we are seeing some smoke and we are starting to see that smoke and mirrors. But again, we do need to see is this smoke coming from a fire from the company? We'll definitely have to see. But again, that Hindenburg report has been accurate in the past on companies that have burned investors such as Nikola and Lordstown. Is it going to be the same with this one? Only time will tell. We do know what happened to those companies, especially the CEO of Nikola, which was fined huge amounts of money from the SEC. So I hope that the uh, CEO of Mullen Automotive is telling the truth and not trying to mislead investors uh, to gain huge profits. But if this is true and that they do have a, a electric delivery van and they do have that technology of the battery state technology, this stock is going to do quite well. So always do your own due diligence, always do your own research. But I hope that this did clear things up and I hope that you did learn something new from this video. If you did, I greatly appreciate that. Give me that big thumbs up to keep me alive on YouTube. Smash the subscribe button, notification bell. Don't forget to share this page with others. Share it with your family, friends, coworkers, that next door neighbor so we can keep growing the channel. Also, I have those links down below right now. I'm giving out free promotions so you can get some free stocks. You Using my links to Moomoo, if you open an account, you can get incredible stocks, up to five of them, each valued up to $3,500 uh, from companies such as Tesla. You can also get Lucid, uh, most notably just recently, Coca-Cola and Netflix were the biggest stocks that were given. Also, Webull can give you up to five free stocks, each valued up to $3,000 just for putting in one penny into an account. Take advantage of these huge opportunities. I greatly appreciate it. But most importantly, enjoy your family, enjoy your life, your health. And uh, again, thanks for all your support. And I cannot wait to talk to you on the next one. Thank you.